Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Seed. In this video, we are going to learn how to build and test our, of our Go language. So let's start. So as you know, first of all, we need to create a repository, new repository for our Go language. So let's create, so click on new. And after, after that, you need to enter your repository name. So my repository name will be Go language. Okay, so Go language is available. Okay, after that description. So it's optional. If you don't want to add any description, then you can skip this. But here I'm going to add build and test. Okay, now I'm going to keep this my repository public. And after that, I'm going to add this readme.md file and then click on create repository. Okay, it's done. Now I'm going to clone my repository. So copy the HTTPS and here I'm going to use this git bash to clone my repository. So enter a command git clone and after that your repository or uh, HTTPS. So it's done. Okay. Now here I'm going to use this Visual Studio Code. So let's open a folder of our repository. So click on file and open new folder. And our repository name is Go language. So here is my repository. Select folder. Okay, so as of now, we have only one file that readme.md file right here. Only one file readme.md. Okay, so now here we are going to create new files here. So, first of all, so here, first of all, let's create Go dot mode file, right? That means go dot module module file, right? So I'm going to create go dot mode file. So let's click on new file and enter a name. Okay, and I'm going to save the file. Okay, after that, next is here, I'm going to create new file with the name action.go file, right? That's a main file. So in this file, you can see your package actions. Then here, I'm going to import FMT and runtime. So here, you can see, I'm going to use this function demo and then print, right? So let's copy the code and create action.go file here. Okay, now is the other file. Now, after that, create one more file with the name action test.go and in this here you can see first of all package action and import testing and then here I'm using this test demo function and in test demo function you can see the demo function right so let's create the file with the name action test demo
sorry action test dot go okay let's save the file and after that let's create one more file with the name go dot sum and here you can see and now i'm going to create go dot sum Now let's save the file. Okay. Now it's done. Okay. Now we have added four files here. Firstly, go dot mod mode, then action dot go, then action test dot go, and then go dot sum file. Okay. Now here I'm going to create my workflow, right? So let's create workflows. First of all, we need to create a folder with the name dot GitHub, then in GitHub, we need to create one more folder with the name workflows. And after that, our file name. So our file name is go.yaml. And in this go.yaml, this is our workflow. So let's enter your first uh, workflow for build and test. So first of all, as you know, the name tag, so my name tag will be uh, go go project then on on push after that jobs right so in job my job name is build and then colon and after that run so so here you need to you need to uh, you need to uh, you need to enter run so and then i'm going to enter the operating system linux ubuntu latest after that steps so here you need to careful about your invitation. Then in steps, first of all here, I'm going to enter uses. And here I'm going to use this action repository, actions slash checkout repository that our GitHub provides. And here I'm going to use version three. After that, next name tag is let us go and then uses. So here I'm going to use actions slash setup go repository and here i'm going to use this version three okay now here i'm going to enter with and in with i'm going to use go version one point fifty here after that the next name tag build and here i'm going to enter run tag and colon go build hyphen b version And then other name tag for test. Here also run go test hyphen v and 
Now that's our workflow. Okay. So now save these files and now open new terminal. And now we are going to push this code into our repository. So let's push. So as you know the commands, So the first command is git init. Then git add. Git add dot. Then git commit hyphen m and in double quote enter your commit. So my commit will be to language then git push okay it's done let's check so go to your repository and now go to the so here is our workflow go language and let's check now can you see the status in progress so as you can see our state our uh, our workflow is success Right, status is success. Okay, let's open the build job. And here, as you can see, the step first setup job, then run actions checkout, then setup go, build test, then post setup go, then post run actions, and then complete job. Right, so let's check build job. Now you can see here, oh, it's done. After that test, you can see here, oh, it's also done, right? The version and the uh, uh, operating system and the gauge, right? Okay, it's done. Okay, that's the simple workflow of our build and test of our Go language, right? Now, if you want to create one more workflow for multiple versions of Go language. So here I mentioned the workflow, here you can see. And in workflow you can see here, here I'm using this uh, matrix context, you can see here, right? And here, here you can see, here I mentioned some versions of our Go language, right? So that's why the workflow is multiple versions of Go language, right? So as you can see over here, I'm using this matrix context and then here you can see, you are using this action setup Go repository and then display our Go versions, right? Okay, now let's copy the workflow of multiple versions. And let's create a one more workflow here. Now save the file and open new terminal and let's push the code. First of all, git init, then git add dot, then git 
commit hyphen m in the workboard and your commit. So my commit will be multiple versions. Sorry. So let's rename our workflow name. Multiple versions, sorry. Now save the file and let's open the terminal. Commit and git add dot then git commit hyphen m and in our code our commit will be multiple versions of last git push. So as you can see, it's done. Now go to the actions and let's check our workflow. So here is our workflow, go, multiple versions of go. So let's check. And as you can see here, uh, in multiple versions, we have three versions, 1.14, 1 1.15, and 1.16x, right? So you can see here, uh, two job completed. Okay, now as you can see here, uh, we have successfully run our workflow and we have, success, our status is success. Okay, now if, I, if I'm going to click on this 1.14 versions of work, uh, of Go language, so, Let's check. So as you can see here, the steps, it's done. Setup of 1.14. Right, you can see a successfully set up Go versions 1.14, right? And if I'm going to click on 1.15, the result will be same, right here. And also 1.60. So that's the workflow of multiple, how to use multiple versions of Go. Okay. So that's the Go language. So in this video, we have learned how to build and test of our Go language. So thank you for watching our video. I hope you like the video and it's helpful to you. So please like, share and subscribe our DevOps in channel.